Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, which is inspired by a video by Shane Young, I'm going to show you how you can really easily upload multiple files to SharePoint or OneDrive. So I've got my SharePoint folder here inside a document library called Documents and then a subfolder called Uploads and my Power App here. Let me just show you how fast this is before we work because this uses no Power Automate flows is direct from Power Apps to SharePoint. So I'm going to attach some files. I've got seven files attached. Now I'm going to click this Upload button. And keep your eye out so you can see how quickly it works. Just click now. There come the dots, and it is done. And that speed is because we haven't gone into a Apply to Each Loop on Power Automate, and instead of the Power Automate method, I have used the Office 365 Groups connector to use the Microsoft Graft API to upload the files to SharePoint directly. So as I said, this is based on a video by Sean. Um, and so this uses the attachments control and the and a gallery to get the image data. And then we go down a different, slightly different route after that. So let's have a look at this upload button. So here's the code. So we create a collection called col uploads, and then add a column to this called image data, and that is just image one dot image, with our gallery all items being the source. Then we use the show columns to reduce the data, and we just bring across name and image data. So our collection will only contain name and image data, and then we do for all col uploads. Office, these, Office 365 groups dot HTTP request. And then here we have got the graph endpoint up to the word sites. And then from there to there is the GUID of the SharePoint site. And we've got drive items root colon. This is my folder where I want the files to go into forward slash upload. And then we've got this record dot name and then append colon forward slash content. Now this is the method. So if you're calling other graph endpoints, that could be a get or a post or a merge. In this case, it's a put. And then we're going to do this record dot image data. And then the header text is a custom header of file name. And then it's this record dot name. And that is all there is to it. There's nothing more than nothing more to it than that. So everything you need is in this piece of code right here. Now, the only other thing you need to know for this, obviously, is this site ID GUID. And I find the easiest way to get that is if you go to your site and then type underscore API forward slash site forward slash ID, then you can get the GUID from there. And just copy and paste it into your Power App. Now, because there isn't much to it, we might as well build it all from scratch so you can see how it works. So um, let's do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is add another screen, just a blank screen. And then in the data part, I'm going to add in SharePoint. And I can pick any site as long as I've got a custom list and that will do. And then I'm going to insert an edit form. And you can do all this from Shane's video as well. It may, may be more detailed. Data source is going to be my invoice header. And then down here somewhere, we've got the attachments control. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it outside of the control. And then I'm going to take that form and delete it. With this, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it File Uploads. As you can see, this is not very happy at the moment. So edit that. And the border color is unhappy. So I'm just going to put black. And then we'll edit it again. Display mode. It's going to be display mode.edit. 
items is going to be nothing. Tooltip, nothing. Okay, and that is now a working control. So then I'm going to add a gallery. Move this out of the way. I'm going to set the items to file uploads dot attachments. That is then happy. And then image is going to be this item dot value. Of course, this is not showing anything at the moment, so I'm just going to attach some files. And that is now working effectively. So we can move on to the upload button. Let's just make that a bit smaller. Okay, so then we can add on a button. And then the on select action. I'm just going to paste in my code, make it bigger. We need to rename these things because I've got my call uploads in the other screen. So I'm going to put call uploads two, and this gallery is called gallery two. And the rest should be fine. Call uploads two there. And that is it, built. So if I close that up now and go and delete these things. Come back to Power Apps, run this, click Upload Files. There we can see it working, and it's done. And that's all there is to it. So give it a go, see how you get on. Um, now, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. If we go to this Attachments Control, you can set the max attachments to whatever you like, but the maximum attachment size with this method that I'm using is limited to four meg. So set that to four megabytes and you won't have any problems. I haven't tried attaching a bigger one, but um, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work according to the documentation. So give that a try and then see what other things you can think of to do with this Office 365 Groups connector, because there are loads of other things and I was just helping out um, somebody else earlier who was trying to do something else quite exciting with this. So um, give it a try yourself. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you pressed like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.